monster up. Welcome to Make Something. Today we're gonna to see if this jet flip top table is worth your money. Check it. This is the new jet flip top stand. I've seen a lot of people make their own version of this online, but once I saw this, I thought I'd just buy one and try it out. If you don't know what a flip top stand is, it does this. You have a tool up top, and then you have an upside down tool at the bottom, and then when you need that bottom one, you just flip the whole thing over, save some space. I'm running out of space, and I could use something like this. That does look nice. Dear technical writers, when writing manuals, never put the instructions on one page and then the photo on the next page. So I have to read the instructions, look at the photo, read the instructions, look at the photo. It's not even on another page where I could tear this and then look at the two at the same time. It's Another gripe of mine is these are the legs, obviously. And then you have these little extension parts that you bolt on there. And you can determine the height of this table by the position of these legs. And so I thought I'll just put it at its lowest position right now. And then if I need to make it higher, I'll make it higher. But it doesn't say in the instructions at the lowest position, it's going to interfere with this piece. So now I gotta take all four legs off, move them up one notch, so I can get this piece in there. Step one, turn the table upside down, use a mat or a piece of cardboard underneath to prevent scratching. This is a tool for a workshop. Nobody gives a shit about scratching. Did I really just do that? So this is one of those weird, awkward situations where I can only go that far. I have to turn the wrench this way, go that far, turn the wrench this way. It's super, it's super annoying. And you have to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I hate putting tools and furniture together. Like I, I hate it. I am the guy that asks to buy the furniture and the tools off the showroom floor that's already put together. That's me. Oh, there's a big scratch in there. People, I get this comment all the time, all the time in my videos. I'm gonna put this up on the workbench and I'll show you that it does not wobble. No wobble, flat, all feet are touching the ground. Anytime I'm building a piece of furniture, every, like, I've got a hundred comments at least saying, it's wobbly, you're a terrible idiot, blah, 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 blah. Look at this, I'm gonna put this on the floor. That's how uneven my floors are. It's like a pitcher's mound in here. It's not me, it's the floor. When I was building the shop, I had them look into leveling the floor, but the cost were like outrageous and it's just, I just couldn't afford it. So I have to work on this pitcher's mound basically. Locked, not going anywhere, wobbly floor. Unlock. Yeah. This side's got the scratch on it. So we'll put the good tool on this side. Let's see how this does. I'm not nervous. I just don't want this falling onto my toes. Oh, that's, that's nice. I guess I would flip the other way. Right? Nope, it would just, ah, it's heavy. This has a cast iron bottom. So this descender is really, really heavy. I have no worries that it's going to fall or tip over or come undone. Cause the table's, the table's well built. It's like working on a car. You always drop something. It's impossible to not drop something. All right, tool on the top, tool on the bottom, unlock. Flip it over. Lock. I feel like I might have to move the cords 
to plug in somewhere up top. So maybe putting a power strip along the wall right here. That works as expected really well. It's actually not gonna stay in this shop. It's going to go into the metal shop, but it's a little too cold to film out there today. So we are here in the wood shop. It's a little expensive. I could have made this and saved myself a bunch of bones, but I would rather use that time to make actual projects than make shop furniture. This costs roughly 18 cases of natural light. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice beer for time. Let me know if you wanna see videos on the go-kart. It's almost racing season again. That is gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more projects and tips. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and put together something. Um, maybe it goes this way? Ah. Ah. We need cordless tools. Ah. Oh, and the cord, ah. Yeah, that'll do.